Hey now, what is up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got back after seeing Oppenheimer, the newest and latest film presented to us by Christopher Nolan. It's a 2023 film, and I went into the earliest showing for this movie. I'm talking 11:15 in the morning. Because I knew it was long. It was three hours long. I still got out at like 250. <laughs> like this will take up a lot of your day. But is it worth it? I will say that after watching the film. I enjoyed it. I did. Now did it have to be three hours long? Could they have taken out 15 minutes here? 10 minutes there? Could this movie be two and a half hours and probably be just as good? Yes. <laughs> but I think I appreciated the most out of the fact that this was greatly directed, greatly acted. And obviously I learned a lot about this Oppenheimer person that I uh, was only somewhat aware of. Let's talk about the actors because this has one of the best all-star cast in a Nolan movie I think I've ever seen. Every scene was a who's who in Hollywood. And how much you can tell there were actors who were like, oh, it's Nolan? I'll come in for however long it needs, <laughs> you know, even if it's nothing. Obviously, Killian Murphy plays the lead role of Oppenheimer, and he's great. Killian Murphy, great actor. Very cool to see him, because uh, I think this is the first lead role that he's had in a Nolan movie, like him being the main character, and it being a true story, or at least probably as true as a Hollywood movie can. It was fascinating for me to see how, and this is really a Nolan thing. This is the Nolan style, the way Nolan wants to tell his stories on how often he goes back and forth in time, how often he shows later points in a character's life, a person's life, and then we go back and he shows us little pieces here and there, then maybe we jump ahead, then maybe we go back to other points. This is a movie that mostly is just about talking or mostly just about creating this bomb but he can take a scene like characters talking in a room at a table and with the score with the sound design i saw it in dolby so that also helps but he can make it feel like the most action-packed scene ever emily blunt who plays oppenheimer's wife at first i thought oh okay emily blunt a great actress, and she's only going to be this wife character. Probably not a lot to do. But as the movie went on, she had a lot to do. She was one of the more interesting and, I think, lively characters in the film. Robert Downey Jr., I enjoyed seeing a different version of him. Matt Damon, I thought was great as well. Florence Pugh, who you could argue her whole side plot and her relationship with Oppenheimer... You probably could have deleted all of that and the movie would have been fine. But I am very okay with how much of Florence Pugh we saw in this movie. But other actors, other people, like I said, just who's who. Josh Hartnett, who I haven't seen since Pearl Harbor. Casey Affleck. Uh, Remy Malek. Kenneth Brognog. I mean, I could go on and on. If you look at the cast listing for this movie, you'd be reading the longest list of people that you know. Clearly, there are people who will watch this movie and say, nothing special. People will watch this movie and say, what's the big deal? Overrated. Or maybe they just don't care for the Nolan style. And maybe I'm too much of a Nolan fan. I'm not saying this is one of his best. But after his last couple movies, I will say that it's better than those. It's something that I think I wanted to get out of to see how he would tell a more straightforward story. I guess similar to Dunkirk. It's a true story, so it's really just showing us the events that happen. So what I'm saying is, if you don't like Nolan movies, if you don't like the way Nolan presents his stories, 
or his characters or his presentation. I don't think you'll get a lot out of it. I don't think you'll enjoy it as much, and I get that. I'm not really here to argue, right? But I will say that I enjoyed it for what it was. Is it long? Yes. Did it have to be this long? Is it perfect? Are there a couple stuff in there that I, while watching it, thought could have been cut out? Yes. But I still enjoyed it. I'm going to give this film... Yeah, I'm going to give it a full price. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you too saw Oppenheimer. What did you think of it? Did you like it as well? I think seeing it on the big screen, even for the time frame, helps. It does. Unless you have a big surround sound, big TV sound system at your house, maybe I should invest in that. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!